hello developers welcome back to the channel in the last video we have created this home page where we have a list of products and on click this product we have a layout for the single product and we have created this mini cart where we list the products in the cart so let's take a look at the editor what we have implemented in the last video so in the main.js we have installed the bootstrap and imported that here and then we have installed the view router and we have implemented it right here and we also created some routes and in the pages home.view here we have created the layout for the home page we have imported the product list now in the components product list here it has couple of product card that is the card for the single product this one in the product card simple bootstrap classes that has link for the product title price and product description and button to add cart item and this is the product image in the mini cart we have displayed the list of products in the cart in the app header we have created the nav bar for the application and here is the mini cart now in this video we are gonna set up the vuex in this project so let's install the vuex the terminal so here we run npm install vuex now it is installed next here we create a directory store for now i will keep it simple and later we will rearrange it when we implement the modules and namespace for large application so here first i'll create index.js and here i'll import view from view next we import vuex and next we say view dot use vuex next say export default new vuex store now here we need to pass the vuex state getters mutations and actions so i'll import state we will create that in a moment import all getters as getters from getters next import mutations all mutations as mutations import actions all actions as actions next we register that here state getters mutations and actions now in the main.js here we import store and add that here in the view instance now we need to create these properties of the vuex so here we first we create state.js and here we need to always export an object next we create getter getter.js and mutations and finally actions.js now what is our next step next in the components product or list here we need to print all the products from the api so in the state we need products initially it is empty array 
So what we do here in the product list component, we will fetch the products from the API and then we will dispatch an action and then we will store that products in this state. And from here, we will display all the products card. I have already created API's example in the Laravel. So let's take a look at this. In the terminal, I am in the Laravel API project directory. So let's open this in the editor. I have created the API in the Laravel. In case if you do not have knowledge about Laravel, it's okay. Our main focus is the front end part to learn about Vuex Store. We are using the API to learn how we should use and organize APIs in the front end. So let's take a look at what we have created in this API. I have created two tables. One is the products table. In this table, we have title, description, image, and price. Next table is the cards, and it has product ID and quantity of the products in the card. Next in the routes api.php here we have created few routes first is the this one and here we have fetched the old products next is the this one here we have displayed the single product this one is the cards here we have displayed all the products in the cart and this one is to store the products in the cart this one here what we did here we fetch the product from the cart if it already exists if it is exist we incremented its quantity if it is not exist then we we store the product in the cart in this route we remove the product from the cart item and in the final route we clear the cart item here you can see it is very basic api because i want to focus mainly in vuex so i try to keep it simple i have also created a factory for this product to generate some demo products it has nothing to do with the api it is just for generate some fake product so to generate some fake products in the terminal i'll run tinker and here it say factory app product class and let's end products and create now it has created some random products in the database now let's see this now here we run php artisan serve to run the api server and the browser in the next step here all url is api slash and this path products now here you can see the products list in the json format this json data is very well formatted in the browser that is because of this json formatter chrome extension now in the next video from this api we will store the products in the state products and from this state we will display products right here so if you are new to this channel hit the red subscribe button and press bell icon so you could never miss our upcoming videos see you in the next video mm -hmm.